What's going on guys? The Iron Cane here, back with another Dragon Ball The Breaker Season 4 slash first anniversary video and these crazy bastards did it. They dropped Horns Piccolo and Gohan Beast and Dragon Ball The Breaker. So they're not out yet. They're going to be coming out in less than 24 hours, believe it or not. And uh, we are going to be doing the previews for both uh, Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo. In this video specifically, we're going to be taking a look at uh, Beast Gohan, looking over his super attacks and discussing how they look, if they're going to be good, if he is going to be good, and the other uh, super attacks he will be using as well. So without further ado, let's take a look at the preview, shall we? Okay. Alright, so let's actually lower the volume a little bit just so we can hear it. That is pretty sick. So, this is the one that I imagine everybody kind of wants to see and see if it will be good. This is uh, Beast Gohan's special being canon. This move um, could potentially be the best super attack in the game. It could potentially be the best super attack in the game. You know what I'll, I'll do actually? Let me, um, I just wanted to turn the other music off. That way I could just have this all the way up. Sorry. Jesus. Okay, that's why that's what I was afraid of. That was really loud. All right. So I, this could potentially be the best super attack in the game. Actually. So this is Beast Gohan's super attack. Uh, he has two unique supers. This is the Special Beam Cannon. If you guys do not know Special Beam Cannon and why it's so notorious in this game. Uh, actually, let me switch this one so you guys can see the full uh, super kind of. You get to see the text now. But anyways, uh, it is a powerful high-speed key wave that uh, defeated Cell Max. Go on, hone this move in secret. So, uh, this super attack, um, the regular special move cannon, is notorious for being the best super attack in the game. It is the fast, one of the fastest super attacks in the game and deals the most damage. What's going to be very telling is if uh, special move cannon beast will be as uh, high damage dealing and as fast as normal special beam. It seems to be about as fast. Maybe slightly slower, like slightly. When I say slight, like special beam cannon is like lightning speed. So for it to even be remotely as fast as it is kind of crazy. But it's gonna be very telling about this super attack is if it's going to be able to be combo uh into a vanish kick. So if you guys don't know there's certain super attacks that actually can be comboed into a Banish Kick. You do Circle into a um, Raider, and you can use the Super Attack to combo it uh, afterwards, doing additional damage as opposed to just landing it raw. But uh, it seems like it has very solid range. It's one of the flashiest Super Attacks I've seen in the game so far. The, like, the black and white flash is very, very cool, man. I, th this Super Attack, when I first saw it, actually almost made me cry. <laughs> it actually almost made me cry, so I'm very, very excited to try this one out. His other super, you'll see why I'm not as excited for. So this is Demon Ray. So, okay. Okay, you know what? You know what? This super attack might be saved. And the reason why is what we're going to look at right here. So what I was worried about was this first blast not backing, uh, not knocking back the Raider. Because if this first blast wasn't doing anything and just like a combo move like God Punisher, I thought it was going to be Garbo. But as you can see... This super attack might actually be very good because the first blast actually knocks back the Raider and it is a legitimate combo. I don't know if they're doing this for uh, preview purposes where they're lowering uh, the Raider gauge to make the Raider get knocked back by the first blast. But if this first blast uh, always knocks back the Raider, this could be a very good super attack in defending the super time machine or getting the Raider off of a survivor or a civilian or summoning or anything like that because uh, this super knocks back the Raider, right? Not every super uh, completely depletes the Raider's knockback gauge bar. So this super doing that on the first blast means that it's always going to combo into the second Kamehameha that's fired, or the, you know, the other blast that's fired, which is the Kamehameha. So uh, Demon Ray fires a key wave that hits at close range then follows up with a Kamehameha. This, this, now that I'm looking at it, dude, if this combos into a Vanishing Kick, dude, this could be a triple combo of which we have never seen before. So say this combos into a Vanishing Kick, it combos into the Key Blast, and then it combos into the Kamehameha. That is insane. 
That is absolutely insane. And then if we look at a special beam cannon, right? If this combos, it's just Vanish Kick in the special beam. If this combos, it's special beam into that Key Blast, into the combo of That's three hits. Three hits. He also has the Masenko, which is which is fine. I, I never really have been a big fan of the Masenko personally. It's a very uh, fast super attack. It doesn't deal that much damage, and uh, it's pretty cheap in terms of super attacks, in terms of the cost. It's going to be around 80 in terms of your limit gauge. But it's just like, why would you use the Masenko as a fast super attack when you have Special Beam Cannon, Beasts, Special Beam Cannon, and of course, uh, the Demon Ray combo as well, which seems to be pretty fast, if not faster than the Masenko regardless. So I don't really see people using the Masenko, but it's cool that it's an option. It's cool that it's an option that you can use as Beast. And then we have the uh, basic uh, Kamameha as well. Basic Kamameha is always a good standard super. It deals, uh, you know, basic damage, has basic speed. It's kind of like, it's set the bar for every other super attack in the game. So, it, you know, Beast having it as an option isn't that bad. I'm sorry if this has been too loud. But, um, I, I think, I mean, Beast, really, what's going to separate him from being great to, like, Z tier to mid is going to be his key blast i think all his super attacks look good uh especially when cannon looks very very good it does look good it seems fairly fast right now we're going to be looking at piccolo right afterwards in, a, in another video for our previews uh i might go back and like compare the two just to see how fast the special beam is on arch compared to uh beast this seems fairly fast though this seems very, uh, fairly fast. If it's able to combo into a Vanishing Kick, that will automatically bump Gohan Beast to at least like, at least like A tier. The only thing that can really hold him back at that point is going to be his Key Blasts. If he has, I, I like, they better not cuck him on Key Blasts. At least give him like Kamen Behas for two and three and he'll be fine. Like he'll be fine. Uh, but honestly, I thought Demon Ray was going to be bad. But the fact that it actually knocks Cell back on that first blast really does make me think that Demon Ray might actually be a pretty solid super as well. I think the one that's probably going to be overshadowed is Demon Ray and Masenko. Kamameha. Nobody's going to be using Masenko. <laughs> who, who out there is like Masenko is their favorite move? Maybe like three people will be using Masenko. Masenko isn't bad, but it's just like, why would you use that when Kamameha is better? And why would you use that when arguably uh, Demon Ray is going to also be better as well, right? And of course, Special Beam Cannon is going to be uh, a really solid option as well. But guys, let me know in the comments below what you think of Gohan Adult Beast. Keep in mind, if you guys are wondering where the super, uh, the passive skills and the active skills are, uh, Beast Gohan and uh, Piccolo, Orange Piccolo, do not have any active skills or passive skills. What does this mean? This is a good thing. This is a very, very good thing. As you guys have probably seen, or if you have not seen, you're a newer viewer, um, I drop 20,000 TP tokens on banners regularly in this game because that's what it normally takes for me to pull uh, the transfers uh, and their passive skills. So because this banner has no skills, skills are essentially this game's version of like LFs, right? And this game are like ultras. Super attacks you can buy with spirit. All you have to do on this banner is pull Orange Piccolo and Gohan Beast once. Once, and you can just buy all of their super attacks with Spirit. This is one of the most free-to-play banners they have ever released, ever dropped. So as long as you're doing multis, make sure you're doing multis, because uh, Beast Gohan and Orange Piccolo are guaranteed, uh, are in the guaranteed list. Are in the guaranteed list. Doesn't mean they're guaranteed. I'll talk about that in a video later about should you summon or not. Um... Do the multis. If you do multis, you have a higher chance of pulling Gohan and uh, Piccolo. And they're going to be giving you 11 uh, transfers per multi. So make sure you're doing multis. And as long as you pull them, you can buy all these super attacks with Spirit. Which is uh, this game's uh, form of pity, right? But anyways, guys, that's the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment below what you think of Adult Gohan Beast. What you think his Key Blast could be. As long as they're not like Masenko's, I doubt they will be. If they're just like Kamehameha's as uh, level 2 and 3, I'll be satisfied. But uh, he looks really good, dude. He looks really good. I thought Demon Ray was going to be trash, but the fact that it knocks back the Raider kind of changes everything for me. But uh, again, let me know in the comments below what you guys think could be the best super attack. Is it going to be the Special Beam Cannon? Is it going to be the Demon Ray? Or is it going to be Kamehameha, bro? Who knows? But anyways, guys, that's the video. Uh, subscribe to the Arcane channel for when these guys actually drop. I'll be showcasing all of their super attacks. 
I'll be showcasing uh, the transfers when they actually drop. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And I'll catch you guys uh, next time. So uh, stay safe, have fun, all that good stuff. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.